the market come back to this level. Okay, there was an order block. There's no screen. Wow. I can't. I see my screen. No. Oh man. Um, hold on. Ah. Can we see it? No, it's not sharing it. But it says I'm sharing my screen. Do you share? Yeah, it's back up. There you go. can see right now. Wow, the network is crap. So why do you think it didn't hold again, even though it was an order block that broke that high. Why didn't it hold? Why did they break right through it? Because it was already about- touched. Exactly. Thank you. Someone's listening. Yes, correct. It was its strongest. Like I said, it was its strongest over here. It was at its strongest over here once it got a touch this was it it was over don't expect that order block don't expect that um demand zone to hold again it won't if you if you analyzing a chart and you're expecting that demand zone to hold again it won't you with me with you yes sir. all right so this is why you see this order block and you're like, oh my God, this order block must be mitigated because it broke structure. Yes, it broke structure, but this zone is done. We are waiting for a level to be tapped into and then price to move away from it. That's exactly what happened. Price moved away. That was oh it. That's what that level was for. Don't expect that level to hold again. It won't. You with me? Yes, yes sir. Sense. Great. So now, so now, now that we have this certain price action happening, right? What happened? The market then came down, right? But we failed to break that low, right? So that order block, right, at the at, at the high over there, was not even an order block. Right? It might look like an order block, but it won't hold like an order block. Right? So what happened was the market came down, it went back up, right? So this level, this level, right? This level where price broke up didn't break previous highs. Right? It was this low, it was this low that broke previous structure, right? Who's with me? Yes. It was this low, right? If that was a high, that was a low. Oh my God. That was a high, that was a low. Right? Holy shit. So we knew that the minute the market broke that low, what were we waiting for? We're waiting for exactly that, the market to come back in. We didn't get a touch over here, right? So what is it? It's this order block over here. That we're waiting for a touch at, right? So we zoom in over here. We can see now that it's this order block. right over there that we were waiting for a mitigation to happen at, right? Well, there. I'm not going to draw them 100%, guys. You, I'm sure you guys know about order blocks, right? So we were looking for the market to come into that level. Why did this order block hold? It was the first time it was getting tested. 
Exactly. So this order block broke previous structure. So what this means, right, is basically this order block took what it needed to take, liquidity. It's taken what it needed to take. There was no reason, there was no reason, right, for it to come back to this level. Hence, when they came back to this level, after bouncing off, it broke right through because there was nothing here, nothing for it to come back to. Eh, market broke right through, right through that demand zone. It's crazy. Okay, to the new and you like, oh my gosh. No, and then you're thinking, but what the hell? Why did it do that? That demand zone was invalid. Let's look at where it got its extra touch. It got so many okay, touches. So right? So it got this from, from here. This was the strongest it was at. Right? Because even over here, it kind of like just would have missed that zip that um, demand zone or would have just slightly pushed in. Not even. Not even. Not even. Because if we're looking at this order block, right, this would have been the order block that broke previous structure right over here. Or where is it? Roughly there and then there. So we're looking for price to come in. It came in, pushed away, came back in, pushed away. How many times do you want this price to come into this level? You understand? Sometimes, sometimes price does. Sometimes price does continue to come into this level, right? But now look at orders over here, right? If you were looking at that order block to hold continuously, right? And it didn't, and you were like, oh my gosh, what happened? It just, it just slightly missed it, right? You can't, yes, it's a coincidence when the order block continues to hold, Right? It's just a coincidence. But in most cases, those order blocks don't hold. Once you get your second touch, you should be done with that order block or you should be done with that supply or demand zone. <coughs> Making sense? Yeah. It's a coincidence. It's a coincidence. You understand? It's a coincidence. It's the same as over here. If we looked over here, Right, <coughs> it was this order block over here. That broke this low, right? We had this low over here. Even though you, some might say no, it's not a low, but it's a low. Here's a low. That's a low, right? Well, no, that's not a low. Hold on. <laughs> this is a low, guys. Yes? That's a low. Correct? On a higher time frame, if we go to a smaller time frame, that's a low. This low, right? This low, right? This low was broken by this low, right? And that's why at this low, the market fell from here. But just as much as this order block held, the market fell from there. Came back into this order block mitigated there and the market fell. Can we all see that? Yes. Yeah. Right? 
It is because of the strength of that level. This level was never tapped into. And as you can see, from there, the market continued to tap into it. This level only became a valid level, right? Once that structure was broken, right? And the market would come back to that structure and then price would pull away. You with me? Got you. Right? So it's the same thing as this. If we come, if we come further down to where price ended, we have another order block, right? Would this order block hold? Yes. Why? Because we had this low <sighs> that was violated by that push away from price. Price pushed away, breaking this low. Meaning that this low, right, had more than enough orders for them to come back to mitigate and then price pushed away. Who's with me? Yeah. Then you can so see Marco the opposite of what happened over here. Hold on. The opposite of what happened over here now happened over here. Instead of price pushing back to the downside, price pushed to the upside, back into, back into that zone. But then failed. If you're waiting for the next touch, it failed. It was its strongest. It was its strongest at its first touch. So it got one, two, three. You can't expect it to get a, 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 a fourth. It could happen, but in most cases, you don't rely on it. You with me? Marco, can I ask a question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just where your cursor is right now, um, yeah. in between those two zones, there's that other red candle just before the price shot up above the, the double, the equal highs. Can you see it there? Just to the left of your cursor right there. Would that be considered an order block that maybe they might retest later on? Uh, if they were going to retest it, they would, would have retested a long time ago. Um, that would be an order block and they would have mitigated it 50%. But you can see over here that it was, it was this order block. It was this order block that broke this high. It wasn't this order block. This no, no, order uh, block just, started. Just a bit more, a bit more just to, yeah, just above there. Uh, talking about this red block of this over on, here. On the on the right, on the right, on the other side, on the other on the up leg. As it goes up, it yeah. it stopped for a bit. No, on the right as it was going up, where current price is now, right? The leg that yeah. that started so, it. Over to the right yeah. some more. Okay, let me yeah. do this. Let me just uh pin it for you right there, right here. Or just right there. Draw, draw my screen. Okay. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's what I, oh yeah. Yes. Is that an order block? That is an order block, right? But, but at the end of the day, right, mm. it was this order block, right, that started the push. I'm However, either. though, it was that order block that I'm broke these it. highs. So this could be a very well validated order block, 100%. This could be a level that the market could very well come back to and test. Oh, yes, hundred percent. Right, but now let's look at if this order block was respected. You see, now it's at it's at its strongest. It's at its absolute strongest because this order block hasn't been tested. So, should price come to this level, we would then see price 
bounce off. It's a very, it, 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 it's a strong level. The reason I'm saying it's a strong level, but remember, nothing's guaranteed in a market, guys. But the reason it's a strong level, right, is because this year, this was the highs. It was this candlestick, right? It was these orders over here that it violated previous highs, previous structure. Hence, when the market came back and tapped into those highs, right, price pushed away. Am I making sense? Yeah, definitely. You understand? It was these, it was this order block Right? It was this order block that broke these highs. Yes? It was this order block. It was this demand zone that was going to hold and price pushed away. Order block old vent. In for them to come back to that order block. Is there a reason for them to mitigate out of their positions, right? If it didn't break structure, right, they, the next institution came in. So this institution over here pushed price higher, right? This institution over here, right? So we had this huge order block over here. Right? We had this massive order block over here. Right? That then pushed price higher, failed to break this high, and therefore they took their profits. So there was no, there are no longer orders at this level. They've taken their profits, right? They pulled back and gave over to the next institution. Mm. Your yeah, internet connection is unstable, but it's fine. Um, it was then these institutions, right, that then push price higher. Everybody with me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. You're right. The bank so, for the institution. So, we need to look at which level is going to hold, right? There's a lot more value for them at this level, right? Because what happened at this level, right, was there was so much buying orders going up that it broke previous highs. This candle over here helped. It helped but they didn't quite finish the mission. It was these can, this, this institution that then pushed price higher, right? Because this same institution could have pushed price lower, overpowering these guys' buys. Remember, guys, that if I put 10 buys into the market and someone comes in and puts 50 sales, it's going to push my buys, it's going to, it's going to push the market down. Let's just, say, let's just say an institution came in and decided they're going to push um, 500 million US dollars into Microsoft. Microsoft is part, of, is part of NASDAQ, right? And then we have another institution that's like, okay, we're only going to push like 20,000 USD to Amazon. And then uh, another person comes in and says, we're going to push another um, $250,000 into Microsoft. 
What do you think Nasdaq is going to do? What do you think is going to happen to price? You buying into Nasdaq. You pumping money into Nasdaq. Remember now, Nasdaq is an umbrella. Nasdaq is an umbrella of a hundred of the most profitable tech companies. That's Nasdaq. When we are on the markets, we are with Nasdaq. When investors and banks and institutions are in the market, they are with the stocks that push Nasdaq as the umbrella. Make sense? Yes, hundred percent. Makes sense. So yeah. you are, you are, you are basically saying prices going up from those hundred tech companies where they are buying per stock. They buying per stock. You understand? So the minute the minute Microsoft has a huge pump of money put into it, what do you think it's going to do to Nasdaq? Since Nasdaq is the mother. And all the kids are now pumping money into the mother. What do you think the mother's going to do? Mother's going to get happy and go up. Price goes up, right? And therefore, it overpowers your 20 cells. Your $20,000 cells get overpowered. So at this level, you could have found in the institutions at this level, but because, because price was up, they were like, okay, cool, let's take advantage and push price even higher. We've already got so we've already got such a huge helping hand from these guys, but they failed. So let's get in and push price even higher. You understand? Or you'll find out this right. The same institutions, right, didn't have enough capital, but then at the same, they decided to pump in more orders and push price high because at this level, they couldn't just push price. Make, make sense, guys? Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah. It does not do. Yes, sir. 100%. Yeah. All right. So price pushed higher, breaking breaking these, right? Breaking these lows. Price pushed higher. But how did price push higher? Price pushed higher from this order block, right? But already, if these orders went up, what was the need for them to come back to this order block? There wouldn't be a need, right? There wouldn't be a need to come back and mitigate this order block, right? If at this order block, all the orders went up, right? All the orders went up. Nobody was trying to sell the market. It might be at this level that they started to put in sell positions. Hence, the market went down and then went up. So you can see that the guys who started to sell the market off were overpowered by a bigger institution that pushed price even higher. Remember that a red candle means sell orders. Lord. You, you with me? So if someone tried to sell the market off before people jumped in to push the price higher. Someone tried to sell the market off and then they, someone jumped in to push price higher. So at these levels, at these levels, right, they are sell orders. So if, 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 if they... Selling the markets, how much in a negative do you think they are when they're over here? How much of a negative do you think these guys are in, right? If this institution or these retail investors were selling a market off at this level, selling a market off at this level, how much of, how much in negative are they when they're over here? Very big. Trillions, millions, billions. You understand? And so once, once this happens, a strong enough institution 
person won't mind. Won't mind. You know, their orders being in a negative. And what happens is they will then push price down, mitigate that order block, and then push price higher. Or might even push price. Oh gosh. Push price lower. Right? Come and mitigate that order block. And then from there bounce. Oh my gosh. And then from there, bounce off. You understand? Oh my god. Marco, the, the trend is going up. If we draw a trend line from the bottom all the way there, going upwards, would that 100%. Work? 100%. No, but 100%. We, we don't use trend lines. But 100%. The trend line, the trend is up. Mm. But however, though, the trend is still up. The trend is still up. It's always up for the next day. What the hell? You understand? Yeah. The trend is still up. It is when this low is violated. You understand? That low is violated, which means we've now broken support, which would have turned to resistance, right? Now look at this. We had our first touch, right? If this was an order block, price pushed away from it. This guy so price down. could very well break through it. Uh, okay. We can't expect that order block to hold. We cannot. Don't expect price to bounce off here. That order block's already been manip manipulated. It's done. You understand? It's done. Even though it created another order block over here, price came back to that order block and bounced off. Price moved away. So we knew that at this level, price was going to come in Right, and then you can see that after that, after that, after that, that 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 third touch, right, it's hardly touched, we can see the price just continue to bounce away from that. So sooner or later, this order block won't hold, and we'll bounce break right through it. Everybody with me? Yes, yes sir. Now, let's talk about order flow. Yes, now, order flow at a level is even worse. Now, when I talk about order flow, I talk about something like this. You'll probably get a lot more touches and a lot more power of order flow, right? So when I talk about order flow, I talk about a level where multiple, there was multiple orders being pushed in. Right? So we had an order block, but there were so much orders being pushed in at this order block. With me? Who's with me? Right? Yes, but however, though, however, though, it was only this the, the, the only reason, the only reason that they came back into here, right? was because of this order flow. Right? Normally we get body to body, right? It was only because of that order flow that the market tapped into it. Otherwise, there is no order block over there that was respected.
Can you see that? Yes, sir. Right? It's because of the orders that were put in over here. We had sell orders, buy orders, sell orders, buy orders. So those who came in to collect their buy orders, right? You must remember that some, some orders didn't go off over here. So price came back in over here, right? Mitigating 50% of what happened over here. Closing off 50% of their orders. Cutting, cutting, cut, cutting losses or breaking even, right? And then we saw that this, this order block at this level held because it broke previous structure as we saw previously. And we would then see that order block then being mitigated and price pushed away from it. But the only reason, the only reason that this, or, this, this, this level held is because of the order flow over here. If there wasn't so much orders at this level, there was no reason for them to come back. Hence, they didn't mitigate this order block. It didn't break previous structure. Everybody with me? Yes, sir, I'm with you. Oh, you're all with me, right? Yeah, we're with you, man. Because if you were thinking that order block was going to hold and then come and be mitigated, that wasn't the case. They came and mitigated all their orders out of here because they knew, right, that there were so many orders over here that probably didn't go into the market. The 